But essentially, we believe, and what we are teaching you all, is that anti-racist compassion action is a continual process of critical reflection on structural racism. And so it's very similar to our definition of racism is that we understand anti-racism as dynamic as well. It begins with grounding, as we talked about several weeks ago. It require anti-racist actions requires to be grounded, standing outside the ground in a non-reactive state. This is essentially what Liz was just talking about, like, you know, recognizing I'm not in necessarily the grounded space to respond to this person. That's when that's excellent, uh, excellent analysis and example. Because um, to react out of that, as Dr. Shane said, would be to either hulk out uh, or resist that part into your movement within us rather than to respond to a given situation. So anti-racist actions ask us to know the realities of race and racism and just how they shape the everyday experience of all people, particularly how they harm BIPOC folks. Um, just learning and unlearning really transforms how we see the world and its transformative capacity is enhanced when we are grounded in a non-reactive state.